Welcome back to Comic Lads. Guys, it's no secret that we have our grapes and our certain nerves and anxieties with this upcoming Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League game. Yeah. But that's not to say that there aren't certain things that we're excited for. I think we're both pretty eager to see the world building in the Arkhamverse. And as well as that, there are also mentions of DLC characters following the post-launch of this game. They have been leaked. Yes. However, we're not going to be talking about the leaked ones because they're all like weak choices. Agreed. There's no thought put into them. They're, a lot of them are just like going to be skins for these characters, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like Killer Croc for King Shark, bro. Like, what? And so we thought, why not do our own list? Mm -hmm. And also at the same time, guys, when we get into this list, we're not going to limit it to just characters that can use guns yeah no because like fuck that yeah i don't want to think about killer croc with a fucking mini gun <laughs> like tearing through metropolis ever Sucks. that's awful agreed so the characters that we have constructed for this list aren't tied to just guns and, and that kind of combat system so let's get right into it we have a few honorable mentions yeah. you know we said we weren't going to mention ones that have already made the leaked list but this one is such a no-brainer pick for the first one yeah i also want him to be in it agree like, i just straight up it's deathstroke he yeah. should be in it he probably should be in the base game. I would much rather have Deathstroke make a comeback than like have a second dead shot that like was the real dead shot this whole time. Yeah, <laughs> like it makes no sense. Anyways. Yeah. I think Deathstroke is a no-brainer pick. He's not just a gun user. He can wield swords as well. He can be kind of a mix of the different characters gameplay already like yeah you could have like a bow staff that he had from arkham origins too you know what i mean be dope yeah and be really awesome and he's also in dire need of redemption since arkham knight Oof, bro yes, that is the tank battle that was the lamest thing nah. they could ever do, imagine bro. taking like a number one assassin from the dc universe and then making you fight him in a tank bro and then and then you one tap them in a cut scene next up we got Captain Cold. This is another honorable mention of ours. Need some ice powers in there, I feel, instead of like just having ice status effect, like unlockables yeah. that you can put on your guns. You and know? I feel like when we we're constructing this list, that was like one of the things that held us back from putting on the main list mm -hmm. is because they're going to have all these status effects. So it's like if you have a cold based character, with cold status effects it just doesn't make any sense and then if you slap him and combine him with like fire and explosion effects it would just look weird yeah all right and our final honorable mention this is another one that kind of would have similar gameplay to deathstroke probably mm -hmm. it is talon jumping around metropolis throwing some daggers taking out his swords he could have like stealth moves which i don't think anyone yeah. else has out of like the main four it's true man it's true and he's been a formidable foe for batman for the last like 10, 15 years? Well, yeah, when was uh, Court of Owls? 2010? 2011. Yeah, 2011. but they completely forgot about him, though. They haven't yeah. used him in so long. He is the least likely out of the three we just mentioned, yeah. for sure. I think it'd be cool to see. Definitely cooler than uh, Joker and Killer Croc. Yeah. Getting into the official list. Mm -hmm. Guys, our number five pick to kick things off, it is Black Spider. A lot of people might not have heard this character. He's been, he's appeared in a few different animated shows before. Yeah. He's literally just Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Actually just Spider-Man to the point where, yeah. I don't know if you remember bro, when he's in Young Justice, he's voiced Josh by Josh Keaton. Keaton. Yeah, <laughs> I so remember that. Ridiculous. That's just, that's just like DC like sprinkling on the salt. Absolutely, Marvel. absolutely. <laughs> and like, would I want them to get Josh Keaton for the game? 100%. Absolutely. 100%. So yeah, he's basically just Spider-Man. He shoots webs. It's kind of, I don't even know how he's like allowed to exist. Yeah, he even has a similar costume yeah. as Spider-Man has. But gameplay wise, that could be a lot of fun too. You know what I mean? Swinging around Metropolis. It, it could be cool. <laughs> this game. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have another video coming out soon with our final predictions and thoughts on the game. So stay tuned for that. Oh, yeah. Okay, next up, this is like a oddball curveball pick. What? Um, oddball curveball pick. This is like a curveball pick from me, but I think Etrigan would be a dope, dope addition to the game. A character that I never, ever want to see using a gun, but, oh. you know. Oh, like, that would be horrible. Ever. But, like... 
He doesn't need to. Like, dude, does he need to? He can just, like, shoot fire. Yeah. You know, or just, like, tear that. through enemies. Yeah. Fucking just bite their heads off. You know what I mean? Absolutely. It could be but sick. If, but if he needs a projectile thing, which I think every character does, he shoots fire. And also, a lot of the characters in the base uh, Suicide Squad game mm -hmm. don't really touch the realm of, like, supernatural. No. He could be a really cool look into the Arkham versus, you know, more na uh, supernatural side. Yeah, I don't... Have we ever seen anything, like, magic besides... Besides like Rachel Ghoul, kind of. Yeah, I, I don't know. One thing that we were talking about just before this that could be really cool is that this character always speaks in rhymes. That could that could make for some really fun, silly dialogue pieces between him and the other Suicide Squad members, I feel. Yeah, I agree. Him and him and King Shark would have some really good banter, I feel. Yeah. Like, oh, Superman can fly. Don't rhyme them. Now he must die, or something like that. <sighs> I don't want to buy the game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number three on our list. This is a character that I've seen on different like forums and stuff kind of brought up as like a wishlist character. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is a kind of a no-brainer pick. But he wasn't one of the leaked ones, was he? No, he wasn't. <sighs> he wasn't. It is Black Manta. Mm -hmm. He could really... Oh, fuck, I just realized. What? Aquaman isn't in this game. Yeah, <sighs> unless he is. Maybe he's a secret, but, like, there's no Maybe, shot. you know, even with Black Manta, there could be some kind of story expansion with Aquaman coming in. Because yeah. they did say that there's going to be certain story elements that come with the characters. Well, like, if, if they're gonna put out a DLC character, there's gotta be, like, a new boss put out with each one, I think, too. Yeah. He has some fucking badass weaponry he, he can use. He has dope laser guns, he can shoot lasers from his eyes, he has, like, the harpoon guns. He could fight with a trident, also. Yeah, one of his finishing moves could be, like, throwing a, a trident, you know, a high-level, high-damage uh, trident at his enemies. It could be so sick. Yeah, I would fuck with, I would fuck with Black Manta super heavy. And I'd want him to fight, like, how he fights in Injustice, you know what I mean? Like, super quick and like... Oh, yeah. Oh, it could be so awesome. I was filthy with Black Manta and Injustice, bro. He was really fun to use, he, for sure. He was. Well, he should be in the game. Yep. Fingers crossed. All right, number two. We got a really, really dope, underrated Superman villain here. Livewire. Mm. Needed to get a girl on the squad, another girl that wasn't like Poison Ivy, because she's... Not up for grabs anymore since she's a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Live wire, lightning powers. I don't really know, like, what kind of gun you'd give her. I'd be kind of pissed if she had a gun. Well, again, uh -oh. in our list, like, yeah. we're just going to break Fuck the kind up. of meta of Rocksteady. And, and they're they're allowed to be who they are in the comics yeah. in our version of this yes. game. Yes. There, there's a few things also that I like about this character. One, her personality is very snarky and kind of quick-witted. Yeah, I think she would be, like, a really, really nice, like, play off of Harley Quinn. Yeah, well. and also with electricity powers, you know what I mean? Traversal is a huge part of this game, supposedly. Oh. It could be sick, dude. She could, like, zip from, like, lamppost to lamppost or something. Oh, she could use electricity sick. throughout the world. Yeah, that would be awesome. It, it could be a lot of fun. Is there, like, a night cycle in the game? Yeah, there's a day night cycle. Cool. Yeah. That would be sick, like at nighttime. Hell yeah, she could like glow with ray tracing too on the world. It could look so, so awesome. Oh yeah. Our final number one pick. I think we picked this just because we're also just like wanting to sprinkle the salt on a little bit to Rocksteady. Yeah. It is bizarro. You know, there were rumors <laughs> that Rocksteady wanted to make a Superman game. Yep. And WB turned it down in favor of the Suicide Squad game. Oh, there's, con there's concept art for it, bro. Yeah, it looks so good. And like, I just, I just don't want to play a Metropolis, like our first fully realized video game Metropolis and not have some kind of Superman based power set. <laughs> like it just, it feels wrong to be in Metropolis of all places and to be like shooting things with like like Harley pistols, Quiz. you know what I mean? I know, dude. It's so fucked. Like I can't believe we're in this timeline. Anyway, I know we're I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. I'm still trying to be are. optimistic about it. Yeah. Then people are like, "You guys are so negative." I'm like, "Yeah, bro. <laughs> this is a Suicide Squad game." Also, guys, we will be releasing our first impressions on the day it actually comes out. We got the deluxe edition, so we're getting 72 hours early. So stay tuned to Comic Lads if you want to see our full, maybe one to two hour. First two hours of live reaction gameplay, and we will be releasing that on the day it comes out. Nice. But yes, back to Bizarro. Yeah, and if he's like the last character that you unlock, it would be nice to just have a character that's completely OP and can do a lot of the stuff that all the other characters can do. 
as your last character that you unlock, you know? Yeah. I think it would be sick. I There's zero chance. No, there's no chance. Ever. No we're, chance. Well, we're never going to get a character like this in the Suicide Squad game. This is a dream list. Yeah, it is. It okay. is. Yeah, yeah, it is. This is like a, <laughs> what could have been. Huh. But yeah, guys, that's our list. Let us know who you guys would want to see as DLC characters for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Because, like we said, the leaked list is kind of lame. They're kind of like easy, boring picks. Yeah, and they're like all characters that we've seen. Like, a couple of them are, are characters that we've seen a lot of in the Arkhamverse. Like, yeah. Killer Croc and Joker. But yeah, guys, let us know who you'd want to see in the game. Let us know how you're feeling about the game. If you're going to be buying it, if you're excited to play it. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. See you guys. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs>